You guys, it's been a little long since I've done my empties. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy, and I'm really happy that you're here. Uh, I think it was March, April, May. That's only two months. I used a bunch of stuff. I used a bunch of stuff. I have my regular trash can overflowing, and I had to had to commandeer one of my buckets, one of my little buckets. So you guys, I'm going to take everything out. I'm going to kind of put them in categories to make it quicker to go through. And I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Wow, you guys. Like, that's a lot of stuff. I don't think I've ever had this much, much stuff in my empties. I'm going to start real quick with three declutters. Uh, they're all Earth Harbor. This is the mer Mermaid Milk. This is Nutrient Glow Moisturizer. Um, A, it didn't moisturize. B, it smells terrible. And it doesn't... Every... Okay. Okay, let's go back. Most, most of the Earth Harbor that I've gotten through the drop shop has been expired. If I've got it from Boxy, it's expired. I no longer buy Earth Harbor from Ipsy or Boxy or anywhere because I, they have the cheapest. It, it's weird, man. It's, it's weird. And I know it's supposed to smell like botanicals and, you know, all of that because it's made from the earth. Duh. But it's just bad. Now I have two other, the Calypso and the Marina. Oh, I'm so excited to use these, you guys. I love love the Celestine. Love the Celestine. Um, but I bought it twice from the drop shop. I bought it from the drop shop. It was fine. I bought it twice more and they were expired, discolored, all of that. So the Calypso I would use when I woke up and it is a rejuvenating moisture elixir, sea berry and CoQ10. And then this one I would use before bed and it is a biome brightening ampule spirulina and blue tansy um something in these broke me out like i get they look like little bites when skincare doesn't agree with me which is rarely rarely uh, i do not have sensitive skin i get these little bumps on just on the side and they look like bites and it wasn't bites it was from something i was using and I didn't know if it was that because I started using these at the same time a week after I started using my drunk elephant. So I was hoping it wasn't the drunk elephant because it's drunk elephant. Um, but so I kind of, so I took, I stopped using both of these. My skin was fine. After that, I went back, I used just this bumps. So stopped using that week later, I went back to using just this bumps. So I'm allergic to both of these. Somehow, somehow, I'm allergic to them. Um, it's really a bummer. It's really a bummer. All right. Uh, let's start with hair. Let's start with hair products. One, two. Um, I have the Curl Ion. This is the Ion Curl Cream from Sally's. This is my Ride or Die Curl Cream. I have the Generic Value Products Volume Boost Gel. This is a this is compared to a dupe of the Amplify Matrix Amplify Volumizing System Thick Boost Gel. Again, ride or die. This is the Bedhead Queen for a Day Thickening Spray. Ride or die. I have not replaced this yet. Both of these have been replaced. I have. I will not ever not replace those two. Um, I haven't been. I can only get this at Cosmoprof, which is my. We have to have a license to get in. I can only get it there and our hours are not friendly to each other. So, um, Curl Smith Feather Light Protein Cream, Curl Gel or Curl Cream. I did like this. Um, I will only buy this if it's on sale. I probably won't repurchase it just because I have this and it's my favorite. I got this, I think it was like Black Friday or something. Anyway, it was 50% off, which made it $15 as opposed to $30 or $12 as opposed to 24. I can't remember. I can't remember, but, um, I like it. It's good. It's good. I just probably won't repurchase it. Uh, 
generic value products, moisturizer, moisturizing conditioner compared to Nexus Humectris moisturizing conditioner. Um, Holy Grail, ride or die, will not be without. I've been using this for 30 years. Yeah, like 30 years. I've been using this for like 30 years. Not this one, I, the, the Nexus Humectris. I use this because it's, I can get it at Sally's and Sally's is open until nine. Okay. Now we have the Frizzy's Dream Curls Sulfate Free Conditioner. Uh, this is the conditioner that I use when I refresh my hair halfway through the week. When I take a shower, um, normally when I take a shower, I put a cap over my head, but like halfway through the week, I will use a scalp scrub and then I will just use a conditioner, uh, instead of, you know, shampooing. That's the minis. I have the Alterna My Hair Canvas New Beginning Exfoliating Cleanser Shampoo. It's got a, uh, it's like a scalp scrub, but it's actually shampoo. And then this is My Canvas Me Time Everyday Conditioner. Those were fine. I got those in my Luxley, my Luxley bag. Rest in peace, Luxley. Rest in peace. Miss that bag. Okay, now we have the TG Custom Care Moisture Shampoo and the conditioner that matches. So those are used up. That's all for hair. Let's do some just regular body and whatever. I have this Crest Scope, um, Crest Complete Plus Scope with Scope. Um, this is not my favorite toothpaste. I had it. Uh, I used to be a crazy couponer. And I bought a bunch of toothpaste at one point and yeah. So we're kind of putting that in with my favorite toothpaste, which is the Arm & Hammer baking soda, with the blue ribbon on it, yellow with blue ribbon. That's my favorite. Okay. Now we have some Lumi products. Lumi acidified body wash. This is in the lavender sage. This is my favorite scent. And then we have a Lumi whole body deodorant. Um, it's as empty as it's going to get. Okay. Okay. Let me go. Let me, let me go through these two. These were just like little minis of, uh, the whole body deodorant in the cream form. Um, I use this. Okay. We're, we're, we're doing a little TMI, TMI. I use this underneath the girls in between the girls. I also use it in the folds of my legs. Um, you know, your groin area in the folds of my legs. I use it there because sometimes when it's hot out, it gets stinky. Just saying it does. So I have the lavender sage and this is the, uh, fresh, uh, what is it called? Fresh Alpine. Okay. You guys, if you've been here with me for a while, you know, I love Lumi so much. I am not sponsored by them. And I did a whole ass video that I will put up here. Um, they reformulated recently because people didn't like the scent. It's a, it has mandelic acid in it. Mandela, mandelic acid. It smells a little funky, but it goes away. Like it just smells funky, like right out of the thing. It doesn't like continue to smell that way. I wish that it just left it alone because I don't feel like it works as well. And I'm not the only one that thinks that. Uh, another creator here on this platform um, contacted me and said, hey, do you feel that it doesn't work as well? And I'm like, yes, yes. So I think the cream deodorant works just as well. The cream deodorant, the body wash, great. The stick deodorant, because that's what I use is the stick. I love the smell. Alpine Fresh. Um, I liked the, the one that they had before this. They when they reformulated, they changed some of the scents because they work better with the mandelic acid. Uh, I wish they would have left spruce, fresh spruce, silver spruce, silver spruce. That was my favorite, but they had to mess it up. So just take that, you know, whatever for whatever. Um, I just feel like it's not as good. I don't feel like it works as well. That was my holy grail. That was my like, 
I didn't stink at work when I'm sweaty and gross and walking around this dusty ass building and, you know, sweating. And I just, I wasn't stinky. I'm still not stinky, but I don't feel as fresh as I did. So yeah. Okay. Moving on. Uh, let's do, we have three wipes. These I got from TJ Maxx. These are the polished cucumber wipes. I have two of those. I have one of the Burt's Bees Refreshing Facial Towelettes. I did not use this to take off my makeup. Uh, all I use it for is uh, swatches. Yeah, swatches. Um, I have the Kroger Micellar Water. This is, you know, their, their brand of the Garnier Fructis. This right here. However, um, this just says instantly lifts, removes impurities and stubborn makeup. I was watching Gigi Loves Beauty too. I will link her in the description box below. Love her channel. Love her channel. Um, this was in her empties, like two or three bottles of these in her empties. And I'm like, what? And she gets it on auto renew on Amazon, which is, I get it on auto renew on Amazon now. This will take off all your eye makeup. No no issues like waterproof mascara, all of that. I don't know about tubing, you know, cause I don't use that, but like you just soak your little cotton pad, soak your little cotton pad. You just lay it on your eye for like 30 seconds and it wipes right off. It's amazing. And it is the Garnier skin active micellar cleansing water, all in one waterproof removes makeup, even waterproof mascara cleanses, soothes, no rinse, no harsh rubbing face, lips, eyes, all skin types, even sensitive. That's what it says. Okay. So that's my, that's what I, now I have a cleansing balm that I love, but if I have four coats of mascara on, I like to take it off because I don't use waterproof mascara, but I like to take it off before I use my cleansing balm. So there's that. That was the Kroger brand. This lasted forever. This is not lasting forever because I'm using it. Okay. I have the First Aid Beauty Cleansing Oil Makeup Remover. I got this in a Busy Beauty box and I really liked it. I do have my Holy Grail Cleansing Balm that's always in my description box below. It's the Row Kiss. Love it. Um, but I liked it. I thought it was really great. I like First Aid Beauty. Um, the Jelly Pop Watermelon Cleanser, Jelly Cleanser. Um, I, I like this. It's nice. Uh, the Pure Lease Watermelon Charcoal Pore Purifying Cleanser. This is my favorite cleanser for like when I get up. When I get up, favorite cleanser. Favorite, favorite. Um, we have the, the New Co. The Pill All-in-One Serum. This is the third one of these I've had. It is AHA, Vitamin C, HA. I really like this a lot. Um, it's a little pricey. I wouldn't buy the whole, whole size, but I've gotten it from the drop shop a couple times. Um, one kind dream cream. Uh, I use this before bed. It's nice. I really like it. I feel like it's very moisturizing, hydrating. The Pure Lease Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer. Love this. I freaking love, it. I love Pure Lease. I do, but I love this. This is amazing. I've never tried the cleanser. I've never tried the cleanser because if I get the cleanser, I send it to Laura, the bargain hunter, because that's her favorite. So I usually do that. So I've never tried the cleanser, but I do like this. Uh, I do like this. Um, True Skin Vitamin C Facial Serum. I liked this. I didn't love it. Uh, it didn't. So there is a, there's a creator called Angie Hot and Flashy. She's very knowledgeable about skincare. Um, I will link her in the description box below, but she did a whole like pH, like pH for the vitamin C. And if you have, if it has a higher pH, it doesn't, it isn't as effective. It has to be a lower pH. And I hope I'm saying that right. I'm hoping it's not the opposite, but this does not have the correct amount of pH, correct pH to really work. Um, I did get this on Amazon. I thought it was fine. I used the whole thing. I used the whole thing. So I liked it. Um, First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. I love this. It does not do anything for my dark spot. 
My dark spot is there. It's not going anywhere, but my face, my, my skin feels amazing. It does. It does. Um, I have the fourth ray cactus hydrating serum boost. This is fourth ray is a color pop, uh, sister company, whatever. Loved it. Very moisturizing. got it in a mystery box. Um, Frank body brightening vitamin C mask. Um, no, thank you. No, thank you. Didn't like it. I don't know what it is about Frank body. I've gotten two things from them. Um, I got them both in busy beauty boxes, but that's not Steph's fault. Um, it's just gross. It smells bad. It feels bad. Like the cleansing oil I got smelled like rancid vegetable oil. This doesn't smell much better. Um, this is actually a declutter. I mean, I used almost all of it. It's, it's way down there. I just couldn't, couldn't use it anymore. Uh, this Derma E hydrating eye cream. Love this. This lasted me forever. And I don't remember where I got it. I might've got it in some friend mail, um, or something. I might've got it in my Luxley box. I don't know, but I really liked it. Um, Elf Holy Hydration Face Cream. Love this stuff. Love my favorite. This is one of my favorites. So I'll show you my other favorite. But uh, it's very inexpensive. Uh, it's very inexpensive. And I love it before bed. Um, this is my Wishful Honey Balm. This is my other favorite. Not only is it silky and luxurious. It smells so good. It's lavender. And I love lavender. I love the smell of it. Um, I had one left and I'm working on it now. Um, I'm kind of low on skincare, you guys. I am. Uh, I don't go crazy for skincare. And now that I don't get, um, very many boxes anymore, like I don't get any skincare boxes. Well, I get the Ipsy regular glam bag. It's so it's minis, but, um, like I don't get full size skincare anymore. The last big skincare thing I got was I got a busy beauty box that was all skincare and it was amazing. It was amazing. Um, we have two more things left. No, three more things left. We have a Esfolio Hyaluronic Acid with Peach Essence Sheet Mask. I got this from Gloria from Beauty After 50 and this is the K-Beauty Balancing Honey Facial Sheet Mask. I got this from Gloria from Beauty After 50. I didn't even realize that she got me both, gave me both of them, but she did. She gave me both of them and they were both very nice. Um, I was having some issues with, um, breakout, just like over here, breakouts. So, um, honey is really good for that. Lastly, the last thing is this Bon Bon facial polish. Bon Bon tastes delicious. You don't eat it though. Guava and passion fruit for normal skin. So these were little hearts. It did smell really good. Okay. So these were like these little heart shaped things that you put in your hand, you put them under water and it was a, a, a physical exfoliator. Um, they were way too harsh, way too abrasive for my face. Um, I did get this. I think I got these in a giveaway actually, but, um, no, I used one of them on my face and I'm like, Ooh, no, that's not good. Uh, so I used them on my body and I really liked it. I mean, I used them like an elbows, knees, heels, um, you know, like my body as a, as an exfoliator. And I loved it, but not as, not for your face though. This is face polish. No, um, I'm very, mm, about what I use on my face as far as like exfoliator. If it has just the tiniest bit of scratch to it. No, I'm not doing that to myself. So those are my empties from the last couple months. I think it was March and April, May. I think I did my empties in March. I don't know. Um, April, May, most of May. It's at the end of May now. So those are my empties. Let me know in the comments below if you use any of these things, what you think of them. If you have a different opinion than I do about them. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of harsh sometimes. I'm kind of harsh when it comes to talking about stuff. But if I don't like it, I don't like it. I'm not going to say I like it when I don't like it. That's dumb. 
All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for my mound of empties. I really appreciate you being here. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.